morning. It is actually Mother's Day and I'm taking this opportunity to actually celebrate it for myself this year because technically I'm a dog mum. Not, I'm not like a mum mum, but anyone that's a dog mum will totally understand that it is the same thing. Um, it's Sunday and we have had a crazy week good and bad um first of all i'd like to say that i went to the ltk gala on thursday which was i felt so fortunate to be invited in the first place um and it was just such an incredible experience to be surrounded by so many incredible content creators um people that i followed for maybe even 10 years now um super inspiring women everyone was so lovely so kind it was just like a really really good experience um the event itself was incredible so thank you so much ltk for putting together something on like a huge huge scale when i say my week was stressful <laughs> before i was going to the gala not only was i running late and i had to drive um i actually I actually broke my vlog camera and it's kind of okay now, but I need to contact the company because we've only had it a couple of months. I don't, I, when I say I broke it, I mean, it just suddenly the, the gimbal, if you guys have the DJI Pocket 3, you will know that the gimbal like recenters when you press a button and it wasn't recentering, so I couldn't use it at all and it was being super glitchy. So I couldn't bring my camera along with me to film for you guys, but I did film a few clips on my iPhone. So I will insert them now so you can just have a little look. Oh my god, this is so fun. I'm so glad I got you. I'm here. <laughs> I need to get you my vlog. <laughs> steps there was like photographer photographers photographers amazing places to get photos i will insert some pictures here from that i honestly had such an amazing time i actually rented a dress from her which didn't arrive on time which was so frustrating and i am so upset because i've never rented anything before and it's just it was really really disappointing i um it was my only option and that teaches me that i need a backup but I think the whole point in renting is that you don't buy extra stuff that you don't need and it should arrive on time. Um, I really wanted to use rental services a lot this year because I'm trying to cut back to the amount of like occasion wear pieces that I buy that I know I'm only gonna wear once and I want to like get much nicer pieces but obviously renting them is so much cheaper. Um, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try again with her. I'm not completely put off by it. I've got a wedding in May and I think I'm gonna rent again for that but it is just a bit frustrating um and also their customer service wasn't super super helpful what do you want um we've got theodore some new toys <laughs> so random i uh, don't know why i'm telling you that but um he has got through maybe like 10 to 15 of his original toys like completely ruined them this week his teeth got so sharp um so he's like just like poking them apart a little bit of a scare on Friday. He had to be rushed to the emergency vet. I wasn't here, David wasn't here. 
David's mum was here though, um, and we had to rush him from work because he nearly had to go under anaesthetic to check his stomach because um, he was going to have ingested something really badly. Luckily he didn't need that in the end, but we thought he would originally and we got a second opinion. Um, I think whatever was in his system passed because he wasn't breathing properly at all. And it was so, so scary. Um, it's so embarrassing, but I literally broke down at work in front of everyone, literally crying. I was so stressed, I can't even tell you. I think it just goes to show, like, I know I love Theodore so much, but I didn't realise I loved him this much. Even when he's being demanding right now and growling at me. Um, so for anyone who has been through the same thing, I know it's not the same as having a baby, and I'm not trying to compare it. He is literally my baby, and that that is it. So... Yeah, he's all good now though, he's back to his normal self. We, um, you would have seen yesterday we went to London for a shoot day and he was absolutely fine. We wouldn't have done it if he wasn't like 100% himself. Um, I think they're very resilient dogs and they do recover. Come here, come here. Come on, what's this? Give me your ball, give me your ball, give me your ball. You're gonna say hello? Are you all okay? Yes, your ball. He's also very stinky because basically, um, we decided to take him off kibble and give him wet food for now before we get something called button up box. Um, and oh my goodness, it stinks. And because it goes all on his like moustache, oh god. It's not me, it kind of reminds me of cat food, which is gross. Um, but yeah, anyway, you guys are all caught up now. I have a couple of hauls that I want to go through and I actually wanted to show you some of the gifts that Space NK and LTK actually got us from the different brands that were there. They had like in the room, oh yeah, so in the whale room they had like all these different stands of like Space NK, Abercrombie, Anka, Elme, LMA, which is a gorgeous, oh my god the flags are gorgeous, um, Fabletics, so many different brands, so let's go through what they gave us. So first of all, Sculpted by Amy, I've actually never, maybe I've been living under a rock, but I actually haven't heard of this brand before, but they had the coolest section, well, one of the coolest sections because they had this thing where you go like press for lipstick and then there was this guy who was obviously standing there all night, bless him, all, all girl, and um, it was like a shimmery opening and he'd like hand out the bag with the little goodie in. So I've got this Hydra Lip Moisturizing Color Lip Balm, which has SPF 25 in. Um, which looks great. Love the pink packaging. And then this is the, I actually think that would go really well on my lips. So how gorgeous is that? I love that it's like a hydrating lip balm, kind of looks like a lipstick, has SPF 25 in which is fantastic. Should always be protecting your lips as well as your face and your body with SPF. Guys, you know how much I love the QR code on packaging as well. And it's in the shade Peach. So that's really cute, so thank you. Then we have the LTK bag itself. Um, and in here, I am so happy I have one of these. Oh my goodness, I have wanted one of these for so long. I don't know why I've never bought one, but they gave us a Stanley cup and I love this black color. I think it's super chic. I've always wanted one of these. Don't know why I've never got one. They're huge, they're so, so good. I've got the Flow State Quencher H2O Tumbler for day hydration. So I can't wait to use this. Thank you so much, Stanley, for giving that to everyone. Um, also in here we've got, this was a jewelry brand which looked absolutely stunning. Um, It's called, and other reasons. And in here are some gorgeous, gorgeous earrings, I think, from what I remember. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are very me. So those are the earrings. I like hanging. How gorgeous are they? So can't wait to wear those. Thank you so much, and other reasons, for them. Theodore is getting frustrated because he wants to have whatever, whatever's in the bag. Oh, how cute, they had a photo booth. So we got some photos. I met up with Ellie, who you would have seen in the video, and I think Natalie might have been in the video as well. And Natalie, I'd never met before, but she was so lovely. 
and shout out to both of them too. And then the biggest goodie bag from Space NK, which is dreamy. I've already obviously had a look. Who wouldn't have done? It's been a few days. But I'm going to quickly go through everything in here. So first of all, this is like a staple in my routine. I was actually running really low. So they've given us two, two of them. Paula's Choice Exfoliate BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This literally keeps all of my acne on my forehead at bay so it's absolutely perfect i'm so so happy i have it then this brand vive which i've never tried before um they've given us a primer which i love i love a good primer so this is the packaging which is gorgeous thank you so much vive um Started by Jamie Genevieve, anyone who followed her back in the day, or still follow her, um, um, knows her thing when it comes to makeup, so I'm really excited to try that. Then some hair bits, so Chris Appleton Plus Colour Wow, it's called Money, a mask for super gloss and expensive looking hair, that is what we're here for. I'm actually moving away from Kerastase at the moment and I love trying new hair care products, so um, Ooh, it's blue. That smells like summer. That smells pretty good. I'm intrigued to try that. Thank you so much, Chris Appleton. Next up, we have a hair by Sam McKnight, Cool Girl Cleanse, shampoo, and conditioner. Perfect little travel sizes. They also sent me their oil separately to this. Um, this week as well. So now I've got like the full set of like Step one shampoo step two cleanse and then three like some kind of treatment. So I'm really excited to try that Thank you so much Then a brand that I've never tried before Olaplex Bonding oil I'll be intrigued to see how I get on with this. Oh my gosh, this is a brand I've always always wanted to try Summer Fridays so Summer Fridays was started by the amazing Mariana Hewitt and Lauren, I can't remember Lauren's surname, girls that just know their stuff, they, I think they travelled so much and were so obsessed with skincare that they wanted to find products that were like really really good for the skin and they first started with their iconic Summer Fridays jet lag mask. A product I can't believe I've never tried before, I'm actually going on a flight soon so I'm actually going to give that a go and I'll let you know how I get on with the the jet lag situation. Oh my god, this product I am so excited for. It's a rare beauty product, but you know I'm already obsessed with rare beauty, I have so many rare beauty products. Positive Light Illuminate Liquid. This, oh I love that on the inside guys. You are rare. But, look at the colour of this highlighter. I opened this, uh, uh, not today, but yesterday. Let's have a look. Look at how gorgeous it is. Stunning. I should have put some on today. I just wanted to show you guys before I started using that. Using it all, was that weird? But um, you know I love the Red Beauty blushes. I use a lot of their other things that can be their eyebrow products. I've got on the way their contour sticks. So really excited to try this highlighter. Then there's a retinol in here from the brand Natrium, which I don't use a retinol, but I will be really intrigued to try one. I think it's great to start with that one. Oh, I love, love, love this brand. And it's pistachio and salted caramel scent. This is, smells like summer. So I will be using that for sure. Then I got this from a brand called Cosas, which I have also, I have heard so many great things from like OD influencers about Cordley and we were given their beauty elixir serum and i don't know if this is dangerous because i feel like i'm going to become obsessed with this brand very 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 quickly um so thank you so much for gifting us all of these amazing products i mean it is actually a dream not only to I just want to get out that by no means am I like a big creator in any way. I have a very small community on Instagram, quite a good growing on TikTok, and 
I've really been enjoying posting on YouTube. So I'm not by any means saying like I'm like this big influencer, but I do really appreciate all the things that I've been gifted and given by all of the brands recently and all the opportunities I've been having. And really thank you so much to LTK for that incredible opportunity this week because you got us in a room with some of the most inspiring people and I just feel so proud of myself and I'm very grateful for anyone that shops through my LTK because I love posting on there so yeah anyway it is um nearly quarter to ten we've got to do here in half an hour but I wanted to show you a few things I picked up from Zara and Agnola this week and H&M and then we hi guys I just went and put um Theodore with David because honestly he just really wanted my attention and David can give him attention and I can't right now because I need to focus on this but um yes so I picked up some more Agnes shoes these are so nice look at these these are the it girl shoe of the summer what's so good is that they've got white laces they also come Laces. I say summer, it's spring, summer. I feel like everyone has these. I love them. I think they're going to go with so many outfits. I think the combo of brown and blue is going to be really big. I think it's a really versatile colour. A bit of me, you know how much I love like the colour brown at the moment. So, really happy with these. Then I've got a parcel from Agnola, which I can just pick up. And you will be. surprised about what I've ordered actually. Uh, okay, first up, I'm not going to put this on now because I've actually just put it out of my hair very quickly. I got this like chocolate brown headband because I just thought it's like really good for working out and it gives me like Pilates girl vibes but because of my layers I've got to find a way to like tuck it without looking weird um, but I thought this was like a really really nice colour that I hadn't seen before. Then I got two sets, exactly the same, but in different colours because I just thought, mm, like, I need new workout stuff to give me the motivation to work out. So, first of all, oh my gosh, guys, how gorgeous is this? Like, the white piping detail, like, or well, off white, I would say, like, more of a cream with the brown, chocolate, chocolate brown colour love love that bra and this is like my kind of sports bra i don't love some of them that i've never do I, I, I still use them but they're not like my favorites this is definitely my favorite and then i got the matching of course matching with all of our matching sets on here the matching trousers how gorge you know what i just love everything i can really do so these are these are so nice and then i've got exactly the same in i'm not going to open them all up properly now because i'm trying to set black with the piping and then here black with the piping in there I'm very happy with those purchases. I love, love, love Adnola and I'm in my running era. I got off on a run this morning and I just feel like new running clothes are always just, well, they're not just for running, they're more for like, um, Pilates and stuff as well, but I feel like it would just like revamp my routine. I placed a big one. This is a big order. This is a really, really big order. Okay, first of all, I got this cap because I just thought a nice, simple linen, linen cap with like no monogram. So I'm an XL Aragata one, but I'm not wearing it that much. Um, and I quite like the shape of this, so we'll try that on and see what it looks like. I think that would look cute with some of my workout clothes actually. And then I've got this green linen blazer, which I'm not sure is very me, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, I then picked up this like light suede trench coat 
crot. So thought we could give that a go as well. Um, then this is stunning. So this top is like a satin cami, but the back has like a tie bow, which is giving me Euro summer vibes. So let's try that together. I then got, which I don't know if my boobs are actually gonna fit into this, this like sage green dress, which I thought would be really beautiful. A great wedding dress, like guest dress. So give that a go as well. And then, oh my God, I've accidentally double ordered this, but how did I manage that? <laughs> Just see this two in there. And this like green pale top. Really, the quality actually is really thick. I actually think you'd be really impressed with this. I saw a girl wear this with blue jeans on Instagram and some Celine Sunnies and I just thought that looks so gorgeous. But we're gonna give it a go because I'm not sure if it's too like green and pale for me. And then I also picked up some basics, which I thought could be quite cute with jeans. So this like gray kind of polo stripe top. I also got one in white. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got these. Okay, so I love how Zara actually like gives like shoe bags and stuff for everything these days. I picked up, I don't think these are gonna be very me. I think I'm gonna regret this purchase, so I'm gonna ask you that. Yeah, but I got these. They're like satin pumps. They are gorgeous, but I'm just not sure guys. I'm just looking at them now and I'm like, am I actually gonna wear those? So I'll try them on and see how comfy they are, but I don't know already. And then, oh, I also got a couple more things. So I got some green trousers to match the suit. And then I also got some champagne colored trousers. I already have a pair of trousers like this and I'm actually a little worried about these ones because you can see my fingers through and they look quite see-through. So if the quality is not great, then I'm definitely not going to keep those, but we'll, we'll try them all. That is everything from the haul. Uh, it's a big one. So we'll try that on later on in the video. And then finally, I picked up some stuff from H&M. Oh, I'm Bow, which I thought, I don't think bows are going anywhere. I think this spring it would be really nice. Um, it's quite long though, but I liked the shape of it. I think it's perfect for, yeah. So, I mean, it's very cutesy and curly, but maybe, maybe we can find a way to wear it. Let's pick that up. And then the second thing was, which, I think you guys have seen a lot of is I've got these beige trousers. Um, I've got the set in blue, navy blue. So the jumper that goes, not this jumper, but a jumper that goes with trousers. And I've got the beige jumper because I never was able to pick up the beige trousers because they weren't in stock. And they came back in stock and I added it to cart immediately because this is like the perfect at home cozy outfit slash loungewear slash um i think a gray airport outfit so i picked those up as well because they're so comfortable link down below because honestly i've got so so much wear out of mine since i've had it oh yeah guys i didn't even tell you what i'm wearing today so i've got this cos navy it's like a really baggy jumper but i've like tucked it into these trousers it's from this year or like last year so i don't know if they still have it in stock but i'll link it down below or similar ones and then i've got my abercrombie sloan wide leg trousers on which are so comfy kind of feels like you're wearing pajamas they're so comfy but that you're smart and then i paired with my celine belt because i thought black blue white quite a cute combo and then i've just thrown on my adidas trainers i was gonna wear heel boots but you know what it's raining, it's gross weather. If it was nicer weather, maybe, but we're also going to Ikea on the way to going out for Sunday lunch, so I'm just like, I don't know. 
and then I'm gonna throw on a trench coat over the top or trench or wool coat, I think trench. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh my God, I didn't even tell you what happened to my cream wool coat. I accidentally had the tie bit hanging out the car all the way to London the other day and it was drenched and it needs to be dry cleaners. So that's a whole other thing. Um, just look at that weather, it's grey. Just look at that weather, it's grey, it's miserable, it's raining, like it's just horrible. I'm just, can we move to a warmer climate please? I'd love to spend half the year in Bali and half the year here, honestly. Anyway, so yeah, this is my outfit for today. So yeah, that is everything from the hauls. We are off to Ikea to pick up some stuff for the setup at home for the Vitelli office. And then we are going out for lunch with David's parents to celebrate Mother's Day, um, which I don't know if I'm running you along for, I'll see if I can film. And then we're coming back home and I will be filming more this afternoon. So I will see you guys in a bit. Theodore? Yes, look at how cute you look. He's all dressed up, matching with me, wearing his blue jumper. In your bed, come on, in your bed. And so what's going on? There's some string hanging from his jumper, should I cut that off?